an update on the current market and see where we go before we end the week. I'm also going to review a trade that I took after we had a signal that I just saw it was too good to, to pass up on. If you're working on becoming a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over what I said earlier on the pullback to the 618 Fib. We actually rejected it beautifully yesterday, Wednesday. So I actually got in on a trade Wednesday, risking the high that we made on Tuesday. We're going to review that in a second. So what I said in the previous video is that we'd likely get a push up to 40.30 to 40.70 because I was looking at the 618 to the 70% FIB retracement on the S&P 500. And then I believed that we would take out these lows down here just below 3,800. If you didn't see the previous video, you can take a look at that. So far, it looks like we are going to do that. However, uh, we're in the middle of where we're trading. So now shorts are a little more sketchy because we could just bounce off around the 38. 3880 to 3900 level and possibly continue higher. So what I saw on Tuesday was we put in this hanging man candle, basically came up into the resistance to the left here, 4020 to 4030. We made a high and we pushed down. Typically, when we make a high like this and we, we close red, this is called like a hanging man candle. Basically, when we break or close below this wick to the left, then we are likely to target the lows and sweep the liquidity to the downside in the recent uh, lows. So I always drew this box here a few days ago. Uh, last week you saw I had this box here because I believed we were gonna sweep these lows. We didn't yet and we pushed up a little higher. So after we had this candle on the daily, I actually got in short uh, Wednesday at about 4,007. Tuesday after hours, we started the new Wednesday daily bar and we broke the previous day low and we were at about 4,007. I entered short, risking the high of the previous day. So we had this wick up here to the left. So my stops were at uh, 4,036. It was about a two to one trade and I was targeting those lows to sweep those lows to the left. And we actually almost stopped me out. I was watching, I, I fully thought I was gonna get stopped out here because the news came out uh, 8.30 a.m. I believe it was PPI and we spiked and we got up to the 40.30s, but we didn't break the uh, 40.35 high that we made the day before. And after that, we just kind of chopped around. NASDAQ was pushing up even higher and then we just dumped and um, went straight to TP, 39.54. We did sweep the liquidity. Now it's uh, Thursday morning, 8 a.m. right now, and we just continually have been just selling off down more with no bounces, no buys, just down. So we'll see where we end up stomping, but um, that was the one trade that I took I've been waiting for. So that was my highest probability setup. Now I'm less confident in shorts because it could just retrace now and bounce up to stop more people up before continuing lower, or we could just continue to sell off for the next coming days. So we'll keep a close eye on this one, but the high is now in and I am now bearish and I'm continuing to have my bear bias thinking that we're gonna sweep the lows at 3,800 until I see otherwise. Just to recap what I saw here previously and why I took the trade, uh, again, short entry was 4,007, so right there. And then the highs I was risking above the previous high because we closed, red, we closed red here and I thought once we broke this previous low, uh, good signal to go short, risk the high to sweep the liquidity to the left. And then we did that. And then now the next stop could be uh, 3880 to uh, 3900 because we could have some support here. We could now have some support here. So this could be a, a possible bounce area. Obviously a little bit support at the current levels, 39.10, but more support here around 38.80 to 38.90. And then we could bounce up, uh, who knows how high we trade before we come lower ultimately, because I still believe that we're gonna sweep these lows to the left below 3,800. And then the question is, do we keep going lower and actually take out the lows down here at 3,500? Again, most people think that. Reason why I don't think that's gonna happen is just because if you talk to anyone, everyone is extremely bearish and everyone thinks that we're gonna go straight down now and take out those lows. So just because most people think that, typically the market likes to stop a lot of people out. Um, but in terms of market structure, yeah, looks clean to go take out those lows. If we bring up the weekly chart on the ES, S&P 500, again, perfect rejection on the 618, respecting these highs. So it only makes sense because if you look at the trend, it's been down, lower lows, lower low, lower low, lower low. So as soon as we uh, break these lows, we are likely to break the lows to the left. 
but we're gonna keep watching. So that's just gonna be an update on the market and uh, the one big trade I took for the week. Um, again, continue to have the short bias on the daily timeframes. Like when I do my trades with the five minute and 15 minute timeframes intraday, I'm still gonna be looking at shorts, but I'm gonna be looking more of shorting from a resistance. So if we get a rally midday and then I see a confirmation of a 15 minute candle close, then I'll probably take a short entry for a continuation lower. Not really looking at longs anymore until I see a daily close the way I like it. So thanks so much for watching. That's gonna conclude this video here. We're gonna post another video to wrap up this trading week on the weekend. So take a look out for that uh, Sunday about 12 p.m. It'll be up. And then this one will be up obviously Thursday and later on in the day as it's now just 8 a.m. So thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you in the next one.